So Joe decides that he's going to climb Mount Whitney. It's the highest peak in the contiguous United States. And he gets books and studies them. He buys the proper climbing equipment and the right clothing and shoes. He watches videos in order to learn the best climbing techniques. And finally, he decides he really is fully informed and so he heads to California. The next day, he arrives very early at the trailhead. He looks around at others who are beginning to make the climb and he thinks to himself, They'll never make it. They don't have any of the right equipment. Just look at their shoes. They'll never hold up. And that ridiculous giant flag they're carrying will surely slow them down. So after he is all outfitted, he begins the climb. And after many, many hours, the others long since out of view, he starts to think that maybe he won't make it. He's not strong enough. He's getting out of breath. Blisters are starting to form on his feet. Not to mention he keeps tripping. He soon realizes that he's just not in shape enough. And he finally gives up. And after sitting there, contemplating for a long time, looking up with binoculars, he gazes up and he can vaguely see the ones he so smugly dismissed unfailing their flag in triumph as they reach the very top. Strive. Strive to enter through the narrow gate, for many, I tell you, will attempt to enter it, but will not be strong enough. That is disciplined enough. In Luke's telling, these words come after Jesus has spoken of the kingdom of God as being like a mustard seed that grows into a large plant for all the birds to live in, or like the tiniest amount of yeast that makes all the dough rise. So he's not saying that there are a select few who will make it, or that our salvation is somehow an exclusive right. But it takes more than just reading the book, wearing the right clothes, watching the video. It takes hard work. Not because we have to earn it, but because we have to prepare. Otherwise, in the end, we may not choose the kingdom of God. Our hearts and our souls will not be fashioned to it. We will be too out of shape. That old saying, no pain, no gain, it applies to more than just football. Salvation is an invitation open to all. But if we are not disciplined, we may entirely give up. We may miss it altogether. The master of the house locks the door because all who want to come are already inside. To be disciplined is to be a disciple, coming from the same Latin root word, dicere, to learn. Discipline and discipleship go hand in hand, and they are everything about learning and nothing about punishment. To be in shape for the climb we must desire to and to do to emulate the teacher, Jesus Christ. And we must embrace his paschal mystery in dying and rising again. That's the narrow gate. 
to die unto myself and my ego and my personal pleasure first and to rise in compassion and forgiveness and love. And that takes discipleship. And we can't simply read it from the book and consider it done, even if the book is the Bible. As one scripture scholar puts it, we can't presume on God's mercy and do nothing by way of response to God's invitation. It demands a deep, hard look inside ourselves. The master of the house says to them, I do not know where you are from. We have to answer the call of the Lord from deep within, my authentic self. I have to know where I am from, who I truly am, in order to learn what God has created me to be and how I am called to enter discipleship. For if I try to do so only on the surface, then that is all I present to God, all I have when I knock on the door. The climber in my story didn't know himself, and he wasn't ready. It can seem really hard. Hmm? Yet none of us strives by our own doing, but rather because we have been called and others have been sent to teach us. Maybe your parents or grandparents, maybe a spouse or a partner or a friend or a faithful stranger. And maybe you are to be that teacher. Maybe you have been and are that teacher now to another. That's the people of God, the church. And when we are sent forth at the end of this liturgy, we have seen the video in the Word of God. We have received the knowledge and the strength from the Lord's table. We just have to get and stay in shape by putting all that into practice. <laughs>